Next up, Ethereum's price surges as December 1st launch date for Ethereum 2.0 declared. So in a new blog post, the foundation, Ethereum Foundation, offered insight on the launch of 2.0. And that sent it rocketing up. And that's why we see a Ethereum price of around $440. That's amazing. So just a little recap, Ethereum 2.0, it's going to take at least a couple of years or so to really get going. But the first one, the phase zero, is for to move from proof of work to proof of stake. And of course, you're going to need 32 ETH to stake that and become a validator. The next part is to increase those transactions per second because they are so slow right now and they're super expensive. And you're going to see that in a little bit later. But that is when sharding comes into play and they're going to go from the, I don't know, I think 25 TPS or 30 TPS transaction per second to over 100,000. So can't wait for that. It's going to take a while to do. But once early validators send their ETH to the Genesis deposit contract, those assets cannot be withdrawn. They were talking about staking. The reward for sending one's ETH away for good is an annual percentage return on those assets. So if you want to stake it, you can make some good amount of money or maybe not. It all depends. Also in this latest update, the Ethereum team released the staking address at which validators can deposit their 32 ETH. So that is great. And I've been hearing this for a long time and I got it really excited. And actually a uh, guy from Coin Bureau actually put out a nice little tweet, which I totally stole from him. So thanks guy, I appreciate that. And I shared the exact same blog post, which was pretty interesting. So I'm gonna run through this real quick. I'm gonna link it in the description. And I'm gonna tell you exactly why I am not going to be a validator. So this is from Ryan Sean Adams from Bankless Nation. He's got a, I think he's got a YouTube channel, uh, but he's a pretty smart guy, uh, really well written. So he states the staking contract is open, as we just talked about, and it's going to go live December 1st. Super exciting. And here's what this guide covers. It goes over a lot of stuff. I'm just going to go, I'm just going to glance over it. Hardware requirements. Here's what you need. You need a 64-bit Linux, Mac OS, X, or Windows. Here's the processor, memory, 8 gigabytes, storage 100 gigabytes. Internet and need a power, which is an uninterruptible power supply. That's the recommended. And they've also got a minimum down here, which I don't think you should do. Choosing and installing your client. The launch of ETH2 features multiple clients, providing validators with the option of using different implementation. As of now, there are four, and you can choose them right here, and they give you a link. And going down, you got to but you have to install an ETH1 node. Running a validator on ETH2 requires you to run an ETH1 node in order to monitor for 32 ETH validator deposits. Interesting. Running an ETH2 validator is step four, or actually the fourth part. If you're new to Ethereum, then a major step is getting your fuel or gas to participate. ETH2 requires 32 ETH per validator, which verifies everything we've been talking about. This is the real thing. Recognize that if you end up becoming a validator, you're making a long-term commitment. Let me say it again. You're making a long-term commitment. We're talking years toward this initiative. So here's a step two. Head over to ETH2 Launchpad. Launchpad was designed for at-home validators. These are hobbyists who intend to run their own validator and are comfortable running commands in a terminal screen on their computer. So I'm just going to stop right there because for me, I'm not doing it. I'm just not doing it. I just got so many things to do and this isn't my thing. This could be your thing. This could really get you excited. And that's why I'm going to link in the description and you can read the rest. So again, I'm going to support Ethereum in my way by buying a boatload of Ethereum, which I actually been doing like the last three years. Later on, when they do a pool or something like that, I'll probably join. But uh, for me, this is a, a non-starter because... I'm busy. Just being honest. So I'll link that in the description. You can check it out. And that is it for that section.